know what everyone wants? A Batman that won't exercise or work out. Hello everyone, I am Mecha Random 42. Delay, oh, do delay, really? You're on a delay. My sound effect's on a delay today. The one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube Harpy. And we got some Robert Pattinson, Pattinson? Is it Pattinson now? Batman related stuff to talk about today. Oh, this is a treasure. This is just what everybody wanted, right? A weak, scrawny, emaciated little Batman who can't even, I don't know, lift the bat suit to put it on, right? That's what we want. Well, that's what we're getting. Here you go. And I'm going to use the tweet here from Film Updates because they really, really zero in on what the bulk of this video is going to be. Or the lack of bulk that Robert Pattinson is there putting on. Why is he looking like he's Sid Barrett from like the 60s? I don't know. I don't get it. As the pretentious music snob, of course, I like Sid Barrett. Robert Pattinson says he's been ignoring his Batman trainer who asked him to keep working out during, you know, uh, you know, while he's while he's at home. I think if actors work out all the time, they're part of the problem. They set a precedent. No one was doing this in the 70s. James Dean wasn't exactly ripped. All right. <laughs> first off, first off, Pattinson, sweetie, sweetie. James Dean wasn't alive in the 70s. All right. All right. He was in a car crash. Before. Decades before. So James Dean wasn't exactly alive then. Nor was he exactly a superhero. And I guarantee you that George Reeves worked out when he was playing Superman on TV in the 1950s. Also, Christopher Reeve worked out to play Superman in the 70s. You don't have to be ripped, but you kind of have to be believable when you are fighting crime as a superhero. You kind of have to be believable. Look, if I think I can take you and I'm not a trained fighter, then what business do you have of going out there being a superhero? I don't get it. I don't understand what this mentality is. This just seems like he wants to sit on his phone and tweet or play video games or whatever. I get that. We all want to slack off from time to time. That's what it really seems like to me. He's just kind of a younger, more naive, more lack of lack of self-awareness and lack of maturity to take the role seriously but hey then again they did cast the actor who is twilight to play batman just to appeal in my opinion to the demographic of people who desperately want a new twilight and who is that well that's mostly the movie studios we keep seeing that time and time again with Star Wars, for example, with the whole Raylo thing, we keep seeing it time and time again. Every time they bring out a new thing. Oh, this is just like Twilight. It's just like Twilight. All right. I didn't like Twilight to begin with. I don't want Twilight as Batman. And I understand why they did it. And my any defense I had was I can see why they did it because it would further prove my point and my theory that they just keep trying to remake Twilight. And that's what we're getting here. The one time they told me to take my shirt off for Twilight, I think they told me to put it back on again. <laughs> All right. There's nothing wrong with being svelte, slim, slender. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're being paid the type of salaries these people are paid, please take it a little bit more seriously. Because if you're not taking it seriously, the rest of us won't. And if you do want to read the whole article, he did this whole thing for GQ where... <laughs> He took his own pictures, I believe, too. Here, let's get into this GQ. Is that it? No. Boom. There he is, looking sad and like a like a less interesting Noel Fielding. That's what I always kind of thought of Robert Pattinson. I'm sure he's a perfectly nice guy. Nobody in Hollywood is more suited for thriving during lockdown than Robert Pattinson, the once reluctant movie star who's stepping back into the spotlight with a new Christopher Nolan blockbuster and then the Batman. That is, if he can find his phone or turn on his computer or keep from burning down his kitchen. <laughs> and, oh, there's more to this. Today's big story from this GQ article is that he burnt spaghetti in the microwave. Uh-huh. When I went to look at Robert Pattinson, here we go. I'm going to pull this up. You know what I found when I went to pull up Robert Pattinson to talk about this today? Because I knew this was going to be a big thing because the GQ article is just dropping little bits of information all day. The one thing that was trending today was pasta. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because pasta is more important than, I don't know, being a superhero? Sure. 
And when I went to pull up that GQ article, the first thing, the top of the search results was Robert Pattinson's pasta? Because seriously, I get it. We can't really be promoting a movie that isn't done being made, that who knows when it'll be released. Nasty microwave pasta inspires equally unhinged memes. Apparently he's microwaving pasta because that's important. Because that's so important now we care about the No, really, I don't care about this. Work out, fit into the bat suit. Don't look like I could bench press you because seriously, I get it. You're a very slim young actor. You're about a decade younger than me. Got that. If we're wanting a Batman though, I don't want this as a Batman. And you're just making it hard to defend you. You really, really are. You're making it hard on people who are like, well, let's see where, where it goes. Let's see what happens with this. Let's see what it's going to be. And I know what you're going to say. Well, Michael Keaton wasn't exactly a superhero looking body type. Michael Keaton wasn't, it, or Adam West. Even. You know me, I love Adam West Batman. With a character like Batman, yes, a lot of his ability comes from the suit, his technology, a lot of the stuff that he's designed. But still, you got to do something to convince me you can throw a couple punches. This is why I didn't like this in Batwoman too. She's 98 pounds throwing 200 pound guys over her head. It's just not believable. And you kind of need to look like you can at least lift a weight instead of like, like seriously, where am I? Where am I? You need to be able to look like you can lift up an eight pound weight for crying out loud. I mean, yeah, I got a lot of fat on top of the muscle, but at least I can lift this up and not be winded by it. Come on. And we're not saying you gotta have the body type of, you know, The Undertaker or anybody or The Rock or a pro wrestler. No, you can be a slim, perfectly toned, muscly guy. Look at Ryan Reynolds. Look at any of the Marvel MCU sort of actors. They're not really huge, huge buff guys. They're very, very cut. There's a difference between that and being these massive muscles. But seriously, look like you can lift a weight. Convince me of that. Convince me you can do something. Because if you're going to be playing a superhero on screen, at least put some effort into it. I mean, at least Brie Larson worked out for crying out loud. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I am MechaRandom42, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.